everybody, this is Aaron Kasnich, your Baltimore Ravens beat reporter from PennLive.com and the Harrisburg Patriot News. Uh, now today we are going to talk about the Ravens' potential battle as a, a punt returner. Um, uh, maybe not a position that's especially important, but one that, that the team does value, that, that it does have some value across the NFL, and that the Ravens have struggled really to, to solidify in recent years. Uh, now we can talk about both punt and kick returning in the modern NFL uh, most folks around the league believe that punt returning has a greater value considering some of the new rules. Uh, kick returning <clears throat> is limited. The, the amount of kick returns have, have gone down since the new rules have been implemented to move up the kickoffs and uh, bring touchbacks out to the 25-yard line. Uh, and some changes with kickoff rules make it tough for, for returners to really uh, get going. But punt returners... That's a little bit of a different story because that's a live ball. There's still more going on. And catching a punt is very, very difficult. And it's something that the, the Ravens have struggled with. The past two years, the Ravens have cycled through four different punt returners. Uh, and each one, uh, the, the three who are not on the team anymore, uh, were all cut after a fumble, after, after some kind of ball security issue. That was Tim White, that was Janorian Grant, Cyrus Jones. All those guys over the past two years had been cut directly after a game in which they fumbled on a punt return. Uh, the Ravens, after after cutting Cyrus Jones last year, the Ravens signed DeAnthony Thomas. Thomas didn't uh, have a great year in terms of punt and kick return average when he joined the Ravens about halfway through last season, and he did commit a penalty, a, a costly penalty, throwing a block, an illegal block, uh, in the Ravens' playoff game, uh, playoff loss against the Titans uh, back in January. So why does all this matter? Uh, because James Prochet, a six-round pick at a at a uh, SMU, is a player who really has not a, a possibility to be a punt returner. Uh, Devin Duvernay, and another receiver the Ravens drafted, you know, also maybe can bring some returning ability. But Prochet is a guy who uh, really was a very steady punt returner for SMU in college. Uh, as a six-round pick, his roster spot is not necessarily guaranteed, but he's going to push to Anthony Thomas for that punt returning and possibly even that kick returning job. Now, oh, why Prochet? Uh, the big thing is that Ravens coaches and executives said they just did not see many times when he dropped the ball, when he lacked focus. He's a very tough player. He might not be your explosive. He's not a Tyreek Hill who's going to uh, necessarily electrify uh, you know, burn past defenses all the time, but he does not make mistakes, does not drop the ball, and he's a shifty, strong, tough guy who, given given you know some some space, can make defenders miss and can really hit the holes hard. So if you got a guy who is not going to turn the ball over, which has been the Ravens' issues, a younger player who could replace Thomas and, and maybe grow, and, and the team could groom him as a receiver and a returner, there's a lot to like about James Prochet. Uh, if we do get a normal training camp or preseason, uh, my guess is that uh, what we'll see is James Prochet getting an opportunity to, to receive a lot of punts, and if he looks clean back there, the team is going to give a long, hard look about making a change at punt returner. Uh, D'Anthony Thomas, it's, it's his job to lose, but it seems like James Prochet is going to come for it uh, once we can get back on the football field.